What we know this morning is this. West Ham, West Ham fans, uh, UEFA, have uh, decided to ban West Ham fans from travelling to the Europa League match away to Rapid Vienna next week. And this was due, Trevor, to fan disturbances, they say, in the previous tie against uh, Genk. Now, um, at the time... David Moyes was somewhat perturbed with this because he says, look, reputationally, we, we don't want any more of this. This was David. We want to be a club in Europe. We want to be there regular. And because of that, we want to behave, behave correctly. I don't know who started. I don't know how it, it really all started. But what we don't want is that reputation because we want to be a club who's competing, we're challenging, and we want to be invited into the, these competitions and be seen as a, a club which can travel to Europe and uh, everybody welcomes us because we're great supporters. So that was last month, Trevor, when there were disturbances at uh, the London Stadium. But now, because of fan disturbances in the tie against Genk in Belgium, UEFA have said no more, no West Ham fans at the upcoming game in Rapid Vienna in Vienna next week. So no, no West Ham fans can be there. Um, the big question was, will West Ham as a club Will they appeal that decision? The news this morning, Simon, is that we understand West Ham will not appeal the UEFA ban on their away fans for the trip to Rapid Vienna next week. Um, the reason for that is that we understand that this relates to West Ham recognising that up to 150 ticketless West Ham fans stormed the turnstiles over there yeah. and that the club feels it is next to no defence against the charge that has been brought against them. Logically, do you think that's the right direction to go in? Well, I think it's. A, I mean, you've, you've made the point that they, they can't defend the indefensible. If they know that there was a segment of fans that turned up and behaved in a certain way, then it's very difficult to defend the indefensible. Of course, that follows on with recent West Ham fans sitting on a plane, you know, chanting anti Semitic abuse. What I don't like is the hypocrisy of double standards because it wasn't so long ago that we were looking at Napoli fans causing mayhem at Leicester. And they don't seem to have had any bans from fans travelling. Um, but I suspect on the back of what happened at Wembley, with fans thinking they can stampede a stadium to get in because there were seats available, and then West Ham fans, are, you know, only 150 th fans, but notwithstanding it, 150 fans, doing something that smells and looks a little bit like that, it's a, it's a hot potato. And so West Ham are looking at it going, well, what's our argument? We admit and know that 150 of our fans turned up and tried to do something that's inappropriate, what is our argument? Our argument is what about her, isn't it? Mm. Our argument would be, well, what about Napoli? Yeah. What about what happened at Leicester? Yeah. And I don't know if what about her is an argument to defend yourself against an allegation which is specific and explicit. It's sad because it's not reflective of West Ham fans, it's not reflective of the massive West Ham fans, and it's not reflective of, this, of, the, of the, the feeling around this football club at this moment in time. And it comes on the back of some silly fans behaving with some stupid anti-Semitic abuse on a plane. And, and West Ham don't want it. They don't need it. They've got no. everything going in the right direction. Yeah. So they don't need it. So it's probably sensible, sensible decision-making processes from, from Karen and whoever else to say, what's the point? We can't defend this. We'll take our medicine and we'll clear our own house up. I think that's probably right. I think there's a nervousness, Trevor, because mm. there were disturbances at the home game at the London Stadium. Yeah. Uh, and now, obviously, that, that was against... And the, now we've had disturbances uh, in the away tie uh, in Belgium. So all of a sudden, there's a nervousness. There's also a nervousness that it, it's common knowledge that there will be West Ham fans at this away game because tickets will come their way yeah. and of course they're in Europe and they'll find it hard to pass the opportunity up yeah I think there's a there's a whether they should be in the game or not they shouldn't be in the match but a few of them will attempt to get in the well match. I think Rapid Vienna have already sold quite a few tickets That's and right. we don't know who the, the buyers were um, listen there's there's excitement obviously West Ham have not been in Europe for a long time I think 99 was the last time they were in Europe so there's an excitement and an appetite from the fans to want to go to games um, but I think that's why David Moyes has been brought into it because I think if you look at the relationship and, and that vibe between the fans and GSB, it's, it's still not great even though the club's doing superbly well in the league and in Europe and in the cup competitions. But I think that's why they've brought David Moyes on to do a little air, uh, air piece and say he wants the fans to behave. 
you can't expect to get away with 150 fans bum rushing a stadium and, and getting in for nothing without tickets. But then why should we be tied with the same brush as the England national team? Because I think that's unfair because that's obviously international football. This is domestic. And if, you, if you're not going to be consistent and start banning the Napoli fans for their behaviour against Leicester City, then what is it? It's not what about it. It's you need consistency. So I think they should... I, I would if I was just That's an yeah. interesting point, Trevor. Do, do you think, Simon, that UEFA light flex in the muscle when it comes to England? So soon after Wembley, and you mentioned Wembley, and now and now this. Well, we are sometimes the architects of our own downfall. We turned it in on ourselves and turned around and say that perhaps we should be considering not even doing the World Cup through the media. Mm. And we've allowed over years this ridiculous allegation that the hooliganism in European football is called the English disease. When it then when really hooligans isn't. are just yeah. as prevalent. In Italy, in France, in 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 Holland, but we've seemingly, because we're great at self-flagellating in this country, uh, quite prepared to allow a hooliganism disease to be called the English disease. So I think there's an element of it goes with the territory. I think there's a lot of envy. I think there's a lot of envy, and I don't use that term lightly, about the success of our Premier League. With, and how with dominant, UEFA or other domestic leagues? We, we, uh, well, I think certainly with other domestic leagues, you've heard it being said by Javier Tabes. You just mm. heard a cheap sh- sideways shot from the president of Serie A saying that someone that bought Newcastle has bought a Mini in comparison with a Ferrari in Italy because they take these swipes. Mm. But that doesn't alter the fact if we don't give these people the opportunity to make these observations and these judgments then we don't put ourselves but in how, the way of it. How, how can West Ham police this? How, how can they find out well, they who can't. the 150 fans are? Because my fear is that they get further in the competition and there's more violence and there's more trouble. self unfortunately, because the West Ham fans themselves are going to be the victims of a minority of people that think they can do as they want. That are not really, then there, There's 150 West Ham fans that did that are no more representative of football fans around the country than the 100,000 people or the 15,000 fans that try to break into Wembley. Yeah. They're no more representative of the status quo. They just happen to be a rogue minority that will capture and garner the headlines, but also consequence the individual football. There's nothing West Ham can do about it. What can you do? If a terrorist wants to break into your house, you can't stop them. No, With an MI5, no. you just can't. You can do the very best alarm system you you want, but they'll get in, won't but they? The unfortunate thing, Simon, is the implication, it, it, by implication, it hits the rest of good travelling West Ham fans, of, 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 of whom there'll be many, and they're now denied the opportunity to, to, go, to go yeah. to the away but, game but, next week. That's, that's a sad but, thing. But a tragedy, because it's it? been so long since they've been in Europe. They'll be looking forward to it. Trips will be booked, flights will be booked, and all of a sudden that's taken away from them. So that's right. Do you yeah. think West Ham are right though, Trevor? Saying no, we're not going to appeal this. We're not going to appeal. I think it. I think if it's there and it, it's obvious that it's West Ham fans that have uh, committed this um, crime or this misdemeanor, what's the point in in, in going against that and, and trying to defend it? Well, you can't defend it, can you? Because it's clearly evident that it happened, and they're copping to it. I'm guilty, but. Mm. But when you're in court and you're guilty, it's not normally I'm guilty, but you're guilty. Yeah. And the, what's the mitigating circumstances? The mitigating circumstances... We've not been there for ages. What? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, overexcitement. Yeah. The mitigating circumstances are overexcitement. We haven't been able to travel for a year. I just COVID hope, it, is, does, I just hope it doesn't continue. Off. Again, you said self-policing. Get on teammates. Tell them to behave themselves and make sure that once we go back into the competition after the into the knockout stages, everyone can go and enjoy it and, and, and have a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but as I say, there is a degree of nervousness, though, uh, running up to this tie, that some of them will have got their hands mm. on tickets. And if that happens, it happens. Well, it's out with the control that, that, that of the, the football the club. issue, because then they'll get another well, it will. Yeah, yeah. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.